A group of people are positioned so that the distance between any two people is different from the distance between any other two people. Suppose that the group contains an odd number of people and each person sends a message to their nearest neighbor. Use mathematical induction to prove that at least one person does not receive a message from anyone. Now in the back of the textbook, we get a hint. And I think it's really important to look at this hint. This hint says, let P of N be the sentence if two N plus one people are all positioned so that the distance between any two people is different from the distance between any two other people. And if each person sends a message to their nearest neighbor, then there is at least one person who does not receive a message from anyone. Now, this is quite the sentence. This is a really long sentence, but we still have to grind through the base case and the inductive step. Now, to avoid writing all these words down, I'm actually just going to draw this context, but you'll have to write this whole thing out by plugging in n equals 1 wherever you see an n in this sentence. So we're assuming that we have 2 times 1 plus 1 people, which is there are three people and they're all positioned so that the distance between any two people is different from the distance between any two other people. This just means visually that we have three people. And if we draw lengths from these vertices, and if we draw lines from these vertices, then we should have a scalene triangle, which means that all three sides of this triangle are different length. The second condition is that each person sends a message to their nearest neighbor. Now, all scalene triangles are gonna have one length that is going to be the smallest length. This smallest length is going to be important because since each person sends a message to their nearest neighbor, that means this person sends a message to that person and that person sends a message back since they're both close to each other. The third person who's far away from both of these two is just gonna send the message to the nearest person. The conclusion of P of one states that there is at least one person who does not receive a message from anyone. And that's gonna be specifically the person that is not adjacent to the shortest length on the scalene triangle. So this person does not receive a message. And that proves the base case because all scalene triangles are going to have at least one point that is not adjacent to the edge with the shortest length. For the inductive step, we're gonna let k be a fixed arbitrary integer with k at least one, and we're gonna assume that p of k is true, which means that we're gonna assume that if two k plus one people are all positioned so that the distance between any two people is different from the distance between any two other people, and if each person sends a message to their nearest neighbor, then there is at least one person who does not receive a message from anyone. We want to show that P of K plus one is true. That means we want to show that if two times K plus one plus one people, which would be two times K plus one plus one, which is two K plus three people. So if two K plus three people are all positioned so that the distance between any two people is different from the distance between any two other people, and each person sends a message to their nearest neighbor. So we're gonna assume all of that is true. The goal is to show that there is at least one person who does not receive a message from anyone. So again, we get to assume that there's 2K plus three people. We get to assume that they're all positioned so that the distance between any two people is different from the distance between any two other people. We also get to assume that each person sends a message to their nearest neighbor. And we get to assume that P of K is true, meaning that if we have a group of 2K plus one people, that are positioned so that the distance between any two people is different from the distance between any two other people. And if each person sends a message to the nearest neighbor, then there is at least one person who does not receive a message from anyone. Now, since K is greater than or equal to one, then that means that two K plus three is at least five. So we have at least five people. Here I drew five people, but there could be more people. And we should also assume that the distances between any two points is different from 
any other distance between any two other points. So this drawing might not be entirely accurate, but let's assume that all of these red dots here correspond to people who might exist. Now 2k plus 3 is odd, so I'm going to make sure that there is an odd number of people here total. So I should draw one more person. Now we're also assuming that each person sends a message to their nearest neighbor. Now we're going to break up this group of people into two separate groups. Specifically, we're going to find two people that have the shortest distance between each other. So out of all the distances between two people, this distance is going to be the shortest. We're going to pick the two specific people that have the shortest distance between them. Because of that, because the distance between these two points is shorter than any other distance, that means this person is going to send a message to the other person and vice versa. They're going to send a message to each other. These two people are not going to send more than one message. So that means that there are no arrows going from this group of people to the other group of people. So there might be arrows going from the larger group to this group of people, but there won't be any arrows going out because these two people are closest to each other than any other two people. And so there are two arrows pointing to both of these people. Now with the other 2K plus one people, the conditions of our inductive hypothesis are satisfied. We have 2k plus 1 people, all of which are positioned so that the distance between any two people are diff is different from the distance between any two other people. That's still true about this group of 2k plus 1 people. And if each person sends a message to their nearest neighbor, that's still going on here. Then there's at least one person who does not receive a message from anyone. So that means that by our inductive hypothesis, there is someone here that does not receive a message from anyone in this larger group. But they also don't receive a message from these two people because these two people are closest to each other. And so there's not going to be an arrow going from here to there because this other person is closer. And so by the inductive hypothesis, this person who did not receive a message from any of these people also didn't receive a message from these two people, which means that this person doesn't receive a message at all. And this means that P of K plus one is true. And so because we picked two people where this distance was the shortest, we could then use the inductive hypothesis with a group of 2k plus 1 people because we get to assume that p of k is true and p of k makes a statement about groups of size 2k plus 1. Thanks everyone and I'll see you in the next video.